right now it's time for a look at your pinpoint weather 12 forecast. I have to tell you, Michelle, the other day I was very excited when sunset was at 430. Mm -hmm. And then Michelle pulls out this graphic here to give us more of a upbeat news about our sunrise and sunset times, right? I know you're like me. We love to do the sun tracking. Yes. And this time of year, we're adding about a minute of daylight each day. Mm -hmm. And by the end of the month, that increases to uh, two minutes of daylight yeah, a day. Sunset. So yeah. Couple weeks. By the end of the month, we've got 40 more minutes of daylight with the sun setting at 5 o'clock. By the end of February, we'll actually have nearly two more hours of daylight than what we have even today. So we are getting there, and uh, that's a little bit of good news. And on a day like today, we've got plenty of sun to get out and enjoy the slightly longer day. Looking at our live Doppler radar this morning and now into the afternoon, it's been dry. Not the case everywhere. They've had accumulating snow uh, down across the western parts of North North Carolina, Eastern Tennessee, and Virginia. Uh, we've had even some reports of three to five inches of snow in some of those areas. Our threat tracker around here, though, is dry. Staying in the green right through the upcoming weekend. Temperatures out the door this noontime, running in the upper 30s for most. It's 37 in New Bedford, Westerly, and Smithfield, 39 in Providence right now. Willimantic and Groton in the upper 30s. Newport's a little cooler at 35 degrees. And winds are light, and that really makes a big difference this time of year. So there's not much of a wind chill factor at the moment, feeling like it's in the lower to middle 30s. So over the next 12 hours, we'll climb another couple of degrees into the upper 30s to lower 40s, and then cooling down by midnight to around 25. It's going to be cold and dry overnight tonight. We'll talk about those lows in more detail, but we are tracking some stormy weather again. Offshore of the Carolina coastline now an area of low pressure is lifting up to the north and east, but it's going to be just too far south to give us any significant impacts around here. In fact, the uh, forecast over the rest of the afternoon and evening showing bulk of the cloud staying to the south of us. This is midnight tonight, so mainly clear tonight. There is going to be an exception to the mostly sunny skies and forecasting for Saturday as you head east. You're towards Plymouth, Cape Cod, Nantucket, Martha's Vineyard. Ocean clouds going to be pretty prevalent in the skies tomorrow, and there could even be a few flurries that come out of those clouds. Looking at the Sunday forecast, mainly sunny, everywhere. Let's talk temperatures for the weekend. A little chillier Saturday than what we're seeing today. We begin the day between 20 and 25 degrees at 8 a.m. and then climbing up only to the middle and upper 30s. When you add in the winds tomorrow, it's going to feel like it's in the 20s through the day. So wind chills lower 20s through the late morning, upper 20s in the afternoon. Here's the seven day forecast. We have another cool dry day on Sunday. Overnight lows Saturday night to Sunday morning, middle 20s and in the upper 30s in the afternoon and another Another cool dry day for Monday. We're keeping an eye on another offshore storm Tuesday into Wednesday. Right now, looking too far south to have us any uh, give us any unsettled weather. So I'm keeping the forecast dry, but we'll continue to monitor the development and track of that system. And